sometimes when stars perish, they unleash the most powerful force in the universe, a radioactive light brighter than a million trillion suns. Imagine if that power were unleashed upon us. Not enough people take pause and reflect on our true place in the cosmos. We like to think of ourselves as having power over our fate. No, no, not yet at least. The powers of the universe vastly exceed any powers we wield. The power of nuclear gamma radiation has long been thought of as mankind's deadliest weapon. But in the early 1970s, American scientists discovered that the power was not man's alone. While searching for evidence of Soviet nuclear testing, NASA's spy satellites began sending back readings of abnormally high radiation, far greater than any bomb the U.S. had ever seen. Scientists immediately tried to pinpoint where on the planet the blasts were originating. But to their astonishment, they found that these bursts of gamma rays were not coming from the Earth, but were coming from space. Completely unexpected. Scientists trained their satellites on the cosmos and started searching for the source of what they now call gamma ray bursts. Gamma ray bursts are fascinating, cosmic enigmas. They are the most energetic things we have ever seen or measured. These are the biggest explosions the universe has seen since the Big Bang itself. It's as massive, essentially, as an explosion can be. Gamma ray bursts occur in a few milliseconds to several hundreds of seconds. And during that time, the energy they put out is actually more energy than the whole universe in the same period of time. A gamma ray burst is uh, the, the final collapse of a star. Every piece of the star is simply falling toward the center all at once. It gets incredibly dense, it gets incredibly hot, all sorts of nuclear reactions start to happen, radiation starts spewing out all over the place. It's just a maelstrom. We see about one a day, going off in some galaxy somewhere in the cosmos. These gamma rays are at safe distances. They're just cosmic curiosities in the night. But suppose a gamma ray burst happened nearby, in our own galaxy. I don't want to be around for that day. Because gamma ray bursts travel at the speed of light, towns around the globe would have no warning that a cosmic disaster was about to unfold. If a gamma ray burst bursts, It'll be the brightest thing in the night or day sky. Won't be one sun in the sky, you'll see two suns. You'll know something bad is happening. Although the closest star to the Earth that could explode is 8,000 light years away, even at that distance, a burst headed toward Earth would be catastrophic. What it would do is it would boil off, essentially, the whole top of the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, and the consequences of that are very drastic. First thing they'll do is take out our ozone layer completely take out all the ozone. Once you do that, by the way, the ozone is our defenses against high energy radiation. So if that shield gets knocked out, we are bare. Without the protection of the ozone layer, everyone around you, even those hiding in their basements, would begin to get what looked like a bad sunburn from the gamma radiation as it penetrated into the Earth's crust. This is light, has enough energy to completely decompose the molecules that are the stuff of life. 
temperatures would rise dramatically. People outside would be burnt by the ultraviolet radiation. Without an ozone layer, anything with eyes would eventually be blinded. We're talking about the end of all life as we know it. Within days, the radiation would begin to impact every living thing on a molecular level, stopping all cells from reproducing. Our fingernails and hair would stop growing, and worse, the cells in our intestines would stop regenerating, leaving us unable to absorb food or water. Most of the living things on the planet, plants and animals alike, uh, would not survive that kind of radiation. After one month, almost all life would be gone from the face of the Earth. However, the remnants of our civilization, the buildings, cars, street lamps, would remain intact. If any life survives a nearby explosion of a gamma ray burst, it would be the microbes that live deep under Earth's surface. There's some hope that life on Earth would continue, but bacteria will rule the world. <laughs> 